I was making $3,500 a month editing videos for a tuning company and I can't lie bro, I was really enjoying life. It was so fun. I was swimming in Porsche Turbo S's. I went to runways to film some really cool cars. The latest and greatest tech. I was seeing cars get tuned. I filmed the Lamborghini Urus. The client had a DJI 4D, so I was actually controlling a camera with a tablet, which was so cool. I love the guys at that tuning company. I actually really miss them. But I realized one thing that not only made me stop working with the client, but actually made me go all in on one type of video creation niche that has allowed me to close higher paying clients. And we all know the higher paying clients are the nicer ones. <laughs> So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that I learned so that you don't make the same mistakes. So with that being said, let us begin. Now, the thing I realized came just really from trial and error. A lot of times things in business just come from trying something, failing, and learning from the lesson. You see, at a time with this client, I was making the speed ramp type video. You know, the ones with the sick transitions, the ones that I made all the tutorials about. Never, never as good as like Jerry Media or Kaden Creative, but you know, the client really liked it. In fact, the first video that I made, myself and the client watched it and we were so gassed because we were like, this is so sick. And at the time, the trend of doing those car reels was booming and the videos actually performed really well. In fact, you can see right here, the kind of views the client was getting and right here is exactly where I joined. So my videos were getting way more views than the previous videos did, but then, something not so good started happening. Whilst the videos were getting views for the client, they weren't really getting any booked calls for their service. And as a company, as a business, whose sole job was to sell shooting services, where they put the cars on a nice spinning thing and they give them more power by doing some computer stuff, they weren't really getting that many booked calls from the videos. So I had the brilliant idea, all right, if I say so myself, to recommend that I actually interview the client and have the client talk about what the experience of the car is gonna be like after the car gets tuned and why it's better to tune a car that isn't as powerful than buying the more powerful model of the car. So that's what we did. We did that for many different cars and those videos started popping off as well. But not only that, they were getting calls booked from it. I actually remember sitting in the office, cutting some videos and one of the sales reps got a call. So I ring, ring, hello, 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 spoke some stuff, put the phone down and he looked at me and he said, that guy just booked because of your video. And I was like, oh my days, I just created a video that directly impacted a business. And so the conclusion was that the speed ramp type videos weren't the ones that were gonna bring in clients. It was the ones where the business talks about the experience of the car after it got tuned. So what does this teach us? In my opinion, it teaches us that we are, as video creators, so obsessed with learning a really cool technique we see somebody do. You might have seen my video editing tutorials and the car stuff and gone, yeah, I wanna do that, that's really cool. And then you do it and then you copy it and then you try and use that for work. The reality is what helps businesses grow it's not just the type of videos you start editing, it's to do with other skills. Now, this made me realize that I need to focus on only doing videos that actually get clients results. And to be honest, doing all of these speed ramping videos was not gonna be the one. Now, this realization is exactly what one of my students in my high ticket program experienced. Take Cody, for example, who has consistently been pulling in views for his clients that are a truck company by making truck content that isn't any like really fancy stuff. It's just videos that are relatable to people that buy trucks. So he actually follows some trends from Instagram, then he adds his own spin to it for his niche and his market. The same thing with my other student, Knox, who has been killing it with his agency since he joined the program by making videos for an automotive dealership in an island in Hawaii, right? Hawaii. Oh my God, bro. Oh. By making relatable content that's funny and matches the culture of the client's target audience. So I decided to specialize in one niche of video creation that directly impacts the bottom line of the business's revenue, which is direct response video ads. Now these ads don't look like anything fancy. They're not crazy edits or anything, but they're designed to look like normal content, but then also to sell somebody to click and buy something. Now I've been doing direct response ads for the last few years, but I only decided to go in after realizing that if my videos are not getting clients direct results, why would they continue paying me? 
Whereas I've been with clients for over two and a half years because my videos are consistently getting them results. Now I made a free guide breaking down every single thing that I know about making paid ads that you can check out down below. And look, the video content creation market is constantly changing. And if you're only consuming the content that you see online, you're probably gonna be left behind. So you're not gonna be in front of the curve. And when I was making videos back in the day, I wish I was surrounded by other video creators doing the same thing as me, which is why we created VP Plus. Our VP Plus community has over 550 plus video editors that we teach you guys how to actually get your first few clients so you make a career out of video creation. We also teach you how to edit videos. We give you loads of assets, practice projects, so you can actually get good at editing videos that clients are gonna wanna buy. At the same time, I do group calls so you can ask me any questions. So does Jack, and we also bring a lot of special guests like Vince Oprah, Brian Delimata, Tom Lulofs, Nate Wealth, because they all see the value in this community. We really wanna be the biggest video editing community in the world. And so if you wanna join and see me there, I will see you there. Now, if you want an exact breakdown where I show you how to make a car video that actually gets results, you're gonna wanna check out this video right here. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.